All right, let's pick a champion. I'm going to go Alabama and at plus 650. Jalen Milrow, Ty Simpson, they have Notre Dame's guy, Tyler Buckner. I don't, you know, obviously you want a Bryce Young in there and not have to worry about it. They have to choose between these three guys, but I think one of them pans out. I'm going them at least for best value, Parley Kid, to win the uh, national title. Who do you have? I think this is the year Lincoln Riley gets the job done in the postseason. An ultra-talented offense and a defense that should be. There's no excuse for it not to be much improved. Let's take USC to win the national championship 10-1. to well, yeah, I like the value that you're getting there. And it's the same thing, too, with Clemson. You never see really 16 to 1. And look, I, I do think if an SEC team is going to trip up without the quarterback play for Georgia, Alabama, a new quarterback coming in, this would have to be the year that somebody else would have to overtake them, too. I think Clemson gets back to the playoffs. I just like the 16 to 1 odds because I think that'll go down at some point. All right, Harry, Michigan, 8-1 to one odds for a team that made the playoff last year. Harbaugh and his Wolverines have won two straight Big Ten titles. But Harbaugh got over the hump beating Ohio State and now has to win in the playoffs. J.J. McCarthy, Corum, Edwards, tremendous three-headed monster. I don't know how they can be stopped. And Sal, before the show, you mentioned it's his birthday today. So happy birthday, Martin. And Michael, if you will, I got a little gift for uh Oh, Martin. no. So you're saying Harbaugh is a great coach? No. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you go. That's number one. Have that on record. Number two, these are the days I miss H Dog. Darren Harbaugh may have done his best coaching job at the University of San Diego. I think he did his best coaching at um, in Detroit at the Springsteen concert when he had one of his assistants say, uh, "Yeah, get this weirdo away from me." 